My name is Edward Shaw. I'm a CLAM Pro staff and with Vexilar and show you a little bit about presentation. A lot of everyone's talking about presentation today. Is what I'm doing here is I'm tail hooking my minnows on a leech flutter spoon. This is going to give me a real subtle presentation. And a lot of people wonder, they always ask me, why so many rods? And the reason I use so many rods is because that affects my presentation. So the type of rod you use and the type of lures you're using will help you change that presentation. So this uh, particular rod is a Gens Power Stick. It's got a real soft tip on it, a lot like the Jason Mitchell meat sticks. Um, this one's a little shorter for using inside my shanty, but uh, a lot of people wonder why do you need so many rods when you're out fishing? Well, is what this does, and I'll show you as soon as we get it down in the water a little bit here, is it's going to change up that presentation and the fish today are biting real slow. So when I bring it up and I jig it just a little, that it causes that spoon to flutter real soft. Where if I used a stiffer rod, say if I had a rattle jig or something like that on, I use these Dave Gens rods and I can jig it and give that rattle a little bit more noise. It's a stiffer jig so I can get a better cadence going or I can change that presentation. So changing up your rod and the type of line you use and the different ways with the different size lures makes a big difference when you're catching fish. And today they like that real subtle movement, just real slight. And as what I'm doing is I'm watching on my Vexilar, I get the lures right down on bottom and I can see that there's fish there. So um, the one thing that is very crucial on your Vexilar is to make sure you have it in your bottom zoom. And so what that's going to do is help give you that quarter inch separation so you can really separate the fish from your lure and see what's going on down there. And I can tell when those fish are getting excited and when they're going to bite. So I'm right on just barely off a of bottom to where if you didn't have that zoom it may look like you're just barely off bottom but you might be only a foot or two. Well I can tell on here I'm within six inches off bottom. So it's really helps me uh, stay busy today and bait lots of hooks. So while we're not catching great big ones yet, I'm going to stay optimistic and hopefully we start hooking into them. I'm Ed Shaw and that's my tip of the day and good luck out on the ice.